Today we're going to be making a t-shirt design in Adobe Illustrator using graphics from Vexels, which are a great source of graphics for your designs and projects. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. So today's video is sponsored by Vexels, which are a great source of graphics for your designs and projects. With thousands of designs and vectors ranging with different file formats from PNG, SVG and much much more. So if you do design t-shirts or you want to design t-shirts, you can subscribe to have a license to use their graphics on your artwork. Vexels is great for improving any design project and saving time. So how to design a t-shirt illustrator ready for screen printing? Firstly, I'm going to explain a few things about screen printing in today's tutorial. This video is showing you guys how to set up an illustrated document perfect for screen printing a t-shirt. There are various different ways to screen print a t-shirt, but we're going to be looking at using spot colours to divide our design up into different sections. This is the most common form for screen printing t-shirts. This method uses the stock colour of an ink without alternatives for printing it through the stencil in a wide open area of screen mesh. This will produce a very vibrant and solid spot of colour. This is the least expensive way to create your artwork for t-shirts and it can also be very cost effective to print in 1-4 to four colours. When you begin to plan the design with 5 or more colours, a different printing method like simulated process may reduce the amount of film work and screen making needed to set up the job. Spot colour artwork is great for most graphic logos that do not require gradients or excessive colour. So what is a spot colour I hear you say? I'm going to address that later in today's tutorial. I can also make tutorials on half tone and other methods of printing a t-shirt at a later date if you want to see that. So first, let's get our graphics. We need to head over to Vexels and grab some vectors for today's project. You can find Vexels linked in the description below. As you can see it displays many different file formats. All you need to do is create an account and then search for the relevant vectors or graphics that you want to use. I'm looking for typography for today's tutorial on how to design a screen print t-shirt in Illustrator. Vexels gives you access to a whole host of graphics and vectors and you can pay for one graphic at a time or you can pay for a monthly subscription. I'm going to use this graphic here and as you can see I have options for the file format but I'm going to use SVG for my t-shirt design. The monthly subscription looks like a good idea to download as many graphics as you like every single month. I've imported the SVG graphic from Vexels into Illustrator for my screen print t-shirt project today. However, we need to make an adequate document for screen printing a t-shirt. So make a new document and then make sure you use 300 ppi resolution. You can set the document to CMYK, but we're going to be using spot colours, something I'm going to explain later. Also the size doesn't matter too much as the graphic is going to be a vector, but two good sizes to work with here are 10 by 10 inches or 8.5 by 11 inches. No bleeds are needed and so when you're ready go ahead and generate the document. I'm going to bring the graphic from Vexels over to the t-shirt document and because I want to edit it I can ungroup it to access specific parts. I actually need to ungroup this design twice so I can remove the 2017 part seeing as now it's 2018. You can of course use any graphics from Vexels, but today I'm using this example to make a tutorial on how to make a screen print t-shirt design in Illustrator. Press T to access the type tool and then go ahead and replace the top section of the design with 2018. We don't want to be a year into the past. This font looks like it will work out for the design. I also changed the colour of the 2018 text to match the design with the eyedropper tool. You can access that with I on your keyboard. You can see here that I'm editing the coding of the type in the type window, making sure that it fits well the design. We will address a spot colour soon in this tutorial on how to design a screen printing t-shirt illustrator. But first, we need to outline the text of the design, like so. I 
and then unites everything together as a vector shape. This isn't a must, but it does help to unite aspects of design with the same colour. Now to make sure our design is made up of spot colours and not CMYK colours, we need to open up the swatches window and the colours window at the same time. If you think about it, CMYK colours are made up of cyan, magenta, yellow and black. When screen printing a t-shirt, we need to use single bold colours that are not made up of CMYK. So in a swatches window, click and drag a colour like so. Then double click it and then change the preset to spot colour. Now you can see in the colour window, the blue is now a single colour where you can change the opacity and not a CMYK colour. So let's go ahead and colour our artwork with the spot colours. It's a good idea to create a new swatch folder to organise your spot colours for a specific t-shirt design. I'm going to make a circle design and I want to use a deep purple. So as before I'm going to click and drag the colour, but this time into the swatch library that I created, and then change it to spot colour. You can find the ellipse tool here or you can press L on your keyboard. Then hold down shift to create a perfect circle. I'm going to send it to the back of the design and I'm speeding up this process here of me selecting the right colour for the typography while I landed on this orange tone. Before I convert it to a spot colour, I'm playing around with the composition and layout of the design. Remember to take time to pay attention to details on your screen print t-shirt design and make sure everything is right before you print it. So like before, drag and drop it into the swatch library and then convert it to a spot colour, with the typography still selected. Before I show you how to export for print, I'm going to add this final touch by duplicating the circle by holding down the Alt Option key and clicking and dragging. I want a stroke only and I want to use the same orange spot colour as the text uses. You can access the scissors tool by pressing C on your keyboard and then cut into the circle specific areas. Press V to access the selection tool and then delete the unwanted areas. So essentially that is my design complete. It is a spot colour design made up of two spot colours only. This is going to be perfect for screen printing a t-shirt, but how to export it for print? Well once you've positioned your artwork, go up to file and save as. You can either choose EPS or PDF for screen printing a t-shirt, but I prefer a PDF and so do many screen printers. You want to use the most recent version of Acrobat and then choose the View PDF After Saving option. Compression should be fine by default and there are no bleeds in this document so no need to address that. The output should be okay with no conversion and then if there's any warnings you'll find them in the summary. And there you have it, your design is ready for screen printing onto a t-shirt using Adobe Illustrator. So there is today's video on designing a t-shirt in Adobe Illustrator using graphics from Vexels. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video in the comment section below and be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy it. If you really find my content useful and you want to help out the channel, share my content on social media and also subscribe to Stroke Graphics if you haven't done already. I upload 3-4 to four videos per week putting out graphic design content that aims to be useful to you guys. So until next time, design your future today. Peace.